Hello. We're going to go through making the Altitude Pro theme look like the demo, one section at a time. The front page has got seven widget areas. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to go through my demo site and set it up in a similar way. So this is what I've got so far. When you install the theme, you'll either see nothing in the uh, the main home page or you might see just a list of all the blog posts you've already got on your site this is a list of the blog posts I've already written so what we need to do first is get some code well the, the text we're going to use so we need to copy the text which is this and I'm going to start off with this as the little title at the top Mm -hmm. so go to our dashboard appearance widgets and that's going to go in front page one now I'm going to put a text widget in there front page one add widget I'm going to put that as the title in the title box and then we need the next bit of text which is this We'll copy both lots of text. What I'm going to do with this, I'm going to use the WordPress editor to format the text. So I always have a, a post or a page that I can use just as an editor. Now this one, draft page, I don't publish this, I just use it for editing content. I'll get rid of what's in there already. And we'll go to the visual tab. I'll paste in my text. Now what I want to do, I want to put, I'm going to put a break in there. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to make that into a H2 using this formatting tool. I'm going to put, ah, it's taking the next bit of code with it. What I'll do, when you're formatting your text using the text editor or the WordPress editor, Make sure you've got a gap between lines if you want them to be uh, formatted differently. So that's got H2 there, and it's gone right down to here. I'll show you what I did wrong. It will take away the formatting. It needs to have a gap there, a proper um, paragraph gap. And then we can set it so that just that is the H2. So set that as a H2. Don't affect anything else. I'm going to put a break there then these are links so I'm just going to add a link there click the link button now for the link we're going to use what are called jump links and a jump link has a hash sign then front page front hyphen page hyphen and this one's going to jump to the seventh widget area so we put hash sign front hyphen page hyphen seven and um, click add link and that's made it into a link we're going to do the same thing for this one we're going to jump to a different section so this one is hash sign front hyphen page hyphen two and that will jump to the second widget area of the front page we'll be able to see what this does in a minute this one needs some code i'm going to make that into a um a little disclaimer text so we need to now go to text view I want to wrap this in some code so what I'm going to do open my bit of code you can get all this um, all these code snippets from the studio press site I'll show you how to do that later and what we want to do is this span class small disclaimer I got that from the studio press site and we need to go back to our page wrap that bit of text in that span class and you've got to close span class right now we've got the code we need we'll just save that draft for now and we'll paste this code into our text widget so we copy this code here we've got the code and the text so we 
if we do it in text mode, we'll get the code as well as the text. If you do it in visual mode, you won't get the computer code, the HTML that makes it work. So do in text mode, copy this code, and we're going to go to our widgets, and paste it into the text widget. We'll save that. And that's in front page one widget area. Now I want to click automatically add paragraphs, save. We'll go look at our page. This is what we had before. We refresh the page. And there we are. We've got the links and the links work. Unfortunately, we haven't actually got any other sections underneath. You would jump down the page, but we don't have any of the other sections set up yet. So I'll just make these buttons look like buttons and then we'll move on. So to style these two links as buttons, we need some more code. We can get this from Studio Press site and we've got two lots. We've got class button clear white and class button. So I copy this code and then we go back to our text widget and in the between in the link between A and href we paste that code. So, so we've got A and gap class equals double quote button, then a gap clear, then a gap white. And then we've got href. I want to paste the similar thing. What well, that actually one that's just going to be button. And the second one we're going to have button clear white. So the next link here. Just to paste the code there. And we've got in this one a class equals button clear white. So we've got two button styles. And when we go back to our page, we'll be able to see the styles. So now we've got two button styles. Right, we'll move on to the next section of the home page. So, what we're going to do now, in this demo site, in the Studio Press site, there's this image here. So we're going to put a small headline, a big headline, and then an image underneath. But this image has got a class applied to it to make it stick to the bottom of that div. So what we need to do, we're going to go back to our WordPress editor. We're going to get the bit of text we need. So we need this. This text, then I'm going to put an image underneath it. So we'll copy that text. We're going to go to our WordPress editor. Get rid of the text we had in there before. We're only going to use this for uh, editing. Paste our text in. In visual mode. We want the H4 and a H2. So that wants to be a H4. This wants to be a H2. And now we want underneath, we want an image here. So we're going to use the media um, chooser, the image picker here. I'm going to have, I've already uploaded this image. You could upload a new one if you wanted to. You just click upload there. I've already got an image I want to use, which is this one. And I'm not going to align the image. I don't want it to link to anything. And I'm going to use a full size image. So I'll click insert into page. Now we're just going to text mode. This is the image code that makes the image appear on the page, but we need some more code. And this one is div class bottom image. This again, you can get from the studio press site. I'll show you that later on. What I'll do first, I'll just show you, I'll put the image in and we'll, then I'll explain why um, why we need that extra code. So we'll paste this into our text widget, copy the code in text view, go back to our widget area. We've done that one, now we're going to do this one. So we'll put a text widget in there, we can drag it in. There's several ways to put widgets into your widget area. Now. We've got the two headlines and the image. So if I click automatically add paragraphs, we're going to automatically add paragraphs on all of these text widgets. Click save. And we'll see what we've got now. Refresh. Now there we've got the two headlines, but there's a big gap under the image. And the code we're going to add now will get rid of that gap. 
and it's this uh, div class image bot our bottom image so if we wrap that image in this code I'll do it straight into the text widget so this is where the image starts the image code starts there and it ends here so we close the div and we'll save that and what we've wrapped we've wrapped to the image code that's image there we wrapped it in this div class bottom image so save it and have a look now that gap will disappear if we refresh the page and the gaps disappeared so we've got to move on to the next one so we need some more text we get the next bit of text for the next section of the page. Right, so this is what we need. This is the text we need, and we're going to format this text. Copy it. I'm going to put that in our WordPress editor. Delete the code that we had there before. Now we want this bit is going to be in the title in the title box of the widget area and then we've got two more widgets so I'll put this in first we've got three widgets in this area copy that and I'll explain so we're now on to section three we want three text widgets in here one Two, three. The first text widget, all we're going to do is put the title in that title box, that's all. Um, ah, we're going to put a little bit of text underneath, I think. Yeah, we're going to put this text in H2 tags. We'll go back to visual. It's two tags. And then we can copy that into that widget area. Go back to our widget areas. Paste that in. I've got H2 there. Our headline 2. So we'll save that one. And see what's changed. So now we've got the top bit, like that. But we need to do these other two boxes. Now, what we're going to need are some dash icons for these images. These little images are called dash icons. And the way you get them, you go to, if you search for WordPress Developer Resources Dash Icons, it'll take you to this page on the WordPress site. I'll put a link um, under the video. I'll, I'll, I'm making a web page to go with the video, so I'll put a link that you can find this site, this this page. You choose a, da a dash icon you want to use, and I think we used that one was one, and then you can copy HTML. Make sure you copy it. And I'm going to paste that into the next text widget area. So put that at the top. And we'll just put the other dash icon, just so we can see what's happened. The second one was the edit button. And it doesn't really matter which one we use, we can't find the edit button, that's the one. So copy HTML again. Copy. And we're going to paste that one in... into this widget area. Now I'll just show you what's happened. So if we look at our demo page, now we'll have two little icons there. See, one, two. And we're going to put our text underneath these two. So let's copy our text, which is this one, I think. That's the first box. 
we need to format that using WordPress. So just start again, it makes it easier. We need to format that as H4. Go back to visual. Make that to a H4 headline. And we're going to go to text view so we get the uh, code and the text. Oops. We're going to paste that into our widget area underneath the dashi com. Paste that in. Add paragraphs. Click save. And then we need the next one. So we'll copy that bit of code. So the text we're going to use. And we need to paste it in via the WordPress editor. So we'll clear that. And this one again, H4. Go back to our text view. Copy the code and HTML. And we're going to paste that into a text widget. So I'll click add paragraphs again, click save, and we'll see what's happened now. So now we're going to get that little headline and some text here, and a headline and text there. That's it. So move on to the next one. Now the next section we're going to do is this one. And what we need to do is to add a H4 there, H4 heading, then a H2, and then these these list items here. So we'll start off with the this bit here. What we need to do with that one, bit of text, this bit here. So take that into our WordPress editor. Go to edit page, get rid of the old code, paste in this bit of code, go to visual, and we need a H4 and a H2. So that one is H4, and this one is H2. All we need to do now is copy the text and HTML. Copy that. Go to our text widget, which is front page 4, so we'll drag the text widget into front page 4, paste in the code and we'll see what we've got now. Click automatically add paragraphs and save. So we'll update the page, scroll down, <laughs> now we've got a lot of text there haven't we? I think that should be a hitch five. We might end up reducing the side of, size of this text. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll carry on and see what happens. So what we need to do now, we need this text here to put in our list items. So go back to our WordPress editor, clear that. This is going to be lists. Now between each list item, you want a proper break. I'll do it in visual mode. So, make sure there's a proper break between each list item, that it won't make it into a list. So, we want to make this into a list, just click the list button, and these are going to be H2 strong, so if we make that into a H2 and make it strong, bold, and this is a button which we've not actually got anything to link, link that one to at the moment, but you just make it a button, just use the button, put your URL in there. So if you was going to link it to your, uh, you know, pricing page or whatever, you'd put the URL in there. I don't actually have any. Um, links at the moment. So we'll just put in a, a pound sign which is a it works as a link but it doesn't actually link to anything. So we'll paste this into the text widgets and we'll see how we get on. 
going to paste that into three different text widgets. So in that little section, we want three text widgets to go underneath there. One, and that's going to be beginner. Add paragraphs. We're going to put, start with $20. Save. Another text widget underneath. Advanced. Paste our code in. That's going to be $40. Automatically add paragraphs and save. And then a third text widget. And this is the pro package. That one's $80. Add paragraphs and save. I will see what we've got. Refresh the page. Ah, there we go. So, we've got three different things. Now, we haven't made these into buttons yet. So, what we'll do, we'll just edit the code to add the, the button code to that. And this is the button code. I will have button clear white. If you just have button, it'd make it blue. So we want a button clear white to so all these button codes. So we'll have to go back to our text widgets. And in the button code, or the link code, just put the class. Save. And add the class to this one. It's just going to style the buttons, or style the links, so that they're uh, the look like buttons. Save it, and we'll see what it looks like now. So these will look like buttons now. There we go, and we can move on to the next section. So now we're going to do the next bit, which is this bit here. So we need some more text, and this is the text we're going to use. Now this bit I'm going to put in the title section of the widget, text widget. So go back to the page, back to text widgets, and we're going to front page 5, I'll just close that one. Front page 5, I'm going to put text widget in there. There we go, and that's the title is going in there. And then... I want some text to go underneath. So, this is the text I want to use. I want some H2 tags. We'll go back to our page editor, get rid of the old code. And with this one, what I want to do, I'm going to put that in H2 tags. And the one below, in H4 tags. So put this, go back to visual. This is going to be in H2 tags. I'm going to put a break there. And this one is H4. So we go to the text view, copy the code, and paste that into our text widget. I want to click automatically add paragraphs and save. See if it's worked. So now under there, we're going to have another box. Refresh the page. And there's the next bit. So let's move on to the frequently asked questions section. Now, if you look on the demo site, the frequently asked questions section it's got one text widget, two text widgets, three text widgets. So there's one, two, three. So we need to put the title in one text widget. And we're going to put that in H4 tags. So let's get some more code to copy, more text. That 
We want to wrap that in F4 tags. Let's go back to our page editor. Edit the page, get rid of the old code, back to visual mode. Make it into a heading 4. And now we can copy that code. Back to our text box and now we're in section 6. Put a text widget, that was easier to click the box on this one I think, in section 6, add widget. And we've got to paste that in there, H4. That's all that's going in that particular box I think. Yep. Click add paragraphs, click save, close the box. And we need to add two more text widgets. So if we'll add a text widget, add, just close that for a minute, and add a second one, front page six, add widget, and we'll close that one. Now we need some code to paste in there. And what we need, we need two lots of text, two headlines. We've got two paragraphs and two headlines. So we copy the text, we go back to WordPress, to our page editor. We want to be in our visual mode, and they are H5 with strong applied. So that's a heading, 5, but it's also bold. And this is the same, H5 and bold. That's how they've done it on the, uh, the demo site, so that's what we'll do. And we can copy this code, including the H5 tags. Copy using the text mode. Paste it into our text widget. Automatically add paragraphs. Click save. And then we'll do the next one. Do we need some more text? This is the text we need. Back to our WordPress editor. Get rid of that lot of text. Paste in some new. Visual mode. H5. Bold. H5. Bold. I want to go to text mode. Copy the code and the HTML. Copy, and we're back to our text widget and paste it in the text widget. Click automatically add paragraphs and save. See what we've got now. Refresh the page. Scroll down. We've got just the same as the, uh, the demo site. So, getting near the end now. Right, the last section of the demo site as this bit of text and a button. So that's what we're going to do. We need the text to start with. This is the text. So we put this in the WordPress editor. Page editor, get rid of the old text. Paste in our new stuff. And what we need is this to be a H4, we'll do it in visual mode. This is a H4. Then we need a H2. And a button. So, I think that's got a break in the, uh, the original. I think that's a H2. And this is a button. Well, I don't have anything to link it to, but we'll just make it into a button. Just put a hash sign in, that'll just make it, that's like a, a test button. You, you would normally put in there your, your URL, so google.com or whatever, the page, you have to put the URL of the page on your site. You could pick them from here, actually. This lists your pages, so you could choose one of those. Add the link. Now, we need to copy the text in text mode. So we get the links and the... Uh, the HTML copy, go back to 
Altitude Pro, front page 7, and we need text widget in there. Paste in the code we've got, and then in this href we'll need to put the thing that makes the button style, styles the button, so get the button style, which is this one. Copy that, and then between A and href, paste the button class. Automatically add paragraphs and save. And if we go back, refresh the page, scroll down, we've got very much like the original site. Now it's a long drawn out process, but the basic principles are really simple. All you do, you get your text that you want to format. So if you need some text, you copy your text and you paste it into the WordPress editor. You use the visual mode to add H4, paragraph, whatever, and links, things like that. Then you, in text mode, you copy the code and paste it into text widgets. And if you do that for all the different ones, you'll end up with something very much like the uh, the demo site. Well, that's been quite a video, that one. I think we'll leave it there and move on.